This is a living classroom. This is where we teach environmental science, marine biology, we teach Hawaiian history, language, culture, and the arts. It needs to be preserved for the children. And that's why for the past 16 years, I have created a learning center here at Punalu, where the children can come and reconnect to their rich cultural heritage. Like that. The way you chant is the way you look. You set a stage for the children to become motivated to go into biological sciences, environmental sciences, things of the natural world around us, to study it, to help protect it. To see that animal alive and to be touched in your heart and mind by, by a wild creature living in a wild environment is something that I think is the first step for children to become involved. very much. It teaches us about Hawaiian studies. It's better than regular school. Learn how to do chants and learn about the beaches and stuff and how to take care of the aina. This program teaches a lot to me how Ka'u is an important place to this Hawaiian island. You can learn all of these things. The way we native people was raised and live in the open space, in a living classroom. I think it's our challenge to show that we can train students to be stewards and that there are some funding opportunities and some jobs, frankly, in that. I think it'd be very possible to see some type of educational centers put up all around Ka'u in order to educate all, all people of Hawaii. Frankly, we're using it as an extension of our classroom um, already at the University of Hawaii at Hilo um, and at other institutions around the state and around the world as well. Being out at Punalu'u is a really good experience instead of learning everything in the classroom, you're out in the field actually practicing all the techniques that you learn in the classroom. You're actually seeing um, the animals, interacting with them, working with them. Just seeing how they behave in the field is very important. Every university has a library. They don't have one like Punalu. That's how much value it is. And if you bring everything there up to to its potential of what it is and what it offers, every university would come here. And you're talking about a guaranteed curatorship guide constant coming that you could probably, not every university could fit, there'd be so much, but you'd have a constant educational thing as well as having natives use the place for subsistence to show the complete cycle of, of Punalu to, to whatever's left in Hawaii to say, this is uh, as much as we could, try to put back a complete ecosystem for you to see what a complete ecosystem is.